It's time for me to leave the Pacific Northwest. I've been here for the last three years. <laughs> I'm going home. I'm going back to California. I closed out my storage unit here. I think it's just time. Like there's nothing really keeping me here right now. I'm excited for all the new adventures to be had in other places. So I think my new home base is gonna be California. I'm gonna go spend some time down there to visit my family, kind of like recalibrate and just air out a little bit. I'll definitely be, you know, adventuring still. I'm not gonna be stationary for a long time. I'm gonna get my business license so that way I can sell my art down there. Cause as you guys guys know I'm a stained glass artist and I like to sell my art at different markets and craft fairs and stuff so hopefully we'll get some content of my art travels. I'm just gonna start this new chapter off with a little mini road trip. I'm about to go pick up my sister from the airport. She flew in so that way we could travel down to California together. We're gonna do a little one-nighter camp trip and I'm excited to see all the adventures that come after that. So We'll see you on the road. I'm finally not the driver for once, but we had to turn around because we ran into that and I'm not trying to risk it, but look at this view. <laughs> Wait for me. Okay, we finally made it to our campsite. It's much later in the day than we originally planned to be here, but we had some fun exploring and like driving around and checking out the area and it was like so nice and super fun. So I think now we're just gonna set up and make a fire and just relax for the rest of the night. But check out this view. Da -da -da. And we used the max tracks and some wood blocks to like level out a bit. So we're looking good. And this is on BLM land in Southern Oregon. Uh, we were trying to go to Elderberry Flats campground, but we ran into some snow, as you saw on both of the roads that we were trying to go down. It eventually just like had snow. So we're like, okay, we can't go any farther. So we, we were already like scouting out some spots on the way up. So we found this one and kept it in mind. And now we're here. I think it's a perfect spot. I'm really happy. First order of business is I plugged in my water heater, getting that going because I have a special surprise with these lovely little things. And Jade's over there getting a fire going. And I'm in charge of the steaks. How are we gonna cook these? Just straight on the fire or like? I don't know, do you have like a rack or something? Mm -hmm. like oh, I guess I could whip out my like camp stove rack. This is what we're working with so far. We're getting the fire going. I took the grate off of my camp stove. So that way we can just slap the steaks right on there. Jade climbed on top of my van because we're gonna try to get some reception to download a movie since it's getting dark. We want to snuggle up in bed. <laughs> Are you getting vertigo? <laughs> so, like looking out that way. Oh, I bet that's so nice. I'm too short to get up there. I need to whip out my ladder. <laughs> 
Here, I'm gonna toss it to you. Yep. Yep. This is nice. I purposely built this thing like extra sturdy. Even though it's like a lot more weight, I did it with two by fours and almost one inch thick plywood. That way we could come up here and not have to worry about it like caving in. So this is what I built this for. Wow. The sun set like 10 minutes ago and it's just still so gorgeous. Mm. Where's Nita? There she is. Oh, she looks so tiny. Oh. Well, that's all folks. Let me show you my view. <laughs> <laughs> and the sun just came out. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Good morning, it's day two of our little road trip. We already got our day started a little bit. Jade made a fire and cooked up this delicious omelet. And in here we have like some cornbread that we're gonna try to get some coals going to like bake in the coals. We don't really know how that's gonna work out, honestly, cause we're working with very minimal amounts of wood. So I don't know if we're gonna have enough coals in the end, but it'll be fun to try. It was super foggy this morning but it cleared up and I'm excited to go explore. Hopefully we can get around to exploring enough to go like mushroom foraging or something. We're kind of on a cliff right now. So hopefully we can find like an area where we can like walk into and explore for some mushroom foraging or something. Cause I'm not ready to leave yet. first signs of spring. So I'm out here hoping to forage for like some mushrooms or something, but we are at pretty high altitude and it's like super early spring still, so probably won't find much, but this will be fun exploring the surrounding area. I don't know if you can tell, but it's also like really rocky terrain rather than like plush forest floor, if you know what I mean. So that's also something that makes me think that there's not gonna be any mushrooms. Look at the sick view of my van. That's awesome. And since I've been mushroom foraging a lot lately, I'm trying to learn my tree species. So I think this one is a Douglas fir. It's definitely a fur because because the needle is flat, like it doesn't roll around and go all the way around like a scrubby brush. And I found this cone or a bunch of these cones in the area and it has what looks like the little mouse tails that I've seen people talk about with Douglas furs. So let me know if I'm right. I think I'm getting the gist of it so far. Another view of the form of, I believe is the same kind of tree. Douglas fir. Douglas fir possibly. Found another fresher cone. Definitely has those mouse tails. This is uh, another tree that looks similar. Mostly wrap all the way around, but it looks kind of more flat on top. So I don't know if that means it's a different species or something. Let's see. And then the pine cones are like growing off the tip of each little branch. And then is this, this is definitely some sort of pine tree. Is it a ponderosa pine? Is kind of what it looks like. Here's the cone or a cone that I found on the floor. It's kind of old and burnt, but let me know if you know exactly what kind of pine tree this is. As expected, we didn't find much foraging, but there was this. So these little plants here, they get much bigger and like longer, but these are uh, purple dead nettle. 
and you can like pluck the leaves off and dry them or just straight up put them into hot water and steep them as a tea. You can even eat them and they're really good for like vitamin C, anti-inflammatory, a lot of good health benefits from this. So keep your eye out for these. They're pretty, they're pretty noticeable and identifiable and they grow freaking everywhere. You'll see a lot more of these as springtime progresses. Took a break from exploring to check on our cornbread. We just took the coal off the top. It's been about, I don't know, like 45 minutes? If, any, if that, maybe like even an hour. Yeah, maybe even more. So hopefully it's done. We'll see. Unwrap the bajillion layers of foil. Oh, no, oh. It smells burnt. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay. Let's see the grand review. <laughs> Out of the top. Oh, no, it's burnt as fuck. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, that did nothing. Okay. okay, okay. She's a little hard. Right here is a nice and sweet. <laughs> it actually oh, worked though. I didn't actually yeah. think it worked. I've never cooked anything like that before, so now we know just to check it like much earlier. I just drenched it in that extra butter. It looks okay. <laughs> I'm so sad. I think we just not cooked the worst it a little bit eaten. too long, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's not the worst. Good girl. Oh, she likes it. <laughs>